In this video, we'll be taking a look at two MLB games happening on October 18, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two MLB games. After fully watching this video, or thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Los Angeles Dodgers vs. New York Mets A World Series ticket is on the line Friday night as the Los Angeles Dodgers seek to punch their ticket by closing out the New York Mets at CD Field. Los Angeles enters the matchup with commanding momentum, having secured victories in Games 1, 3, and 4. The Mets' lone win came in Game 2, where they managed a 7-3 triumph, but they now face elimination against a surging Dodgers squad. The Dodgers are just one win away from clinching the National League Championship Series in New York, riding the momentum from two consecutive blowout wins. With their bats on fire and pitching staff in full control, Los Angeles appears to have peaked at the perfect time. This sudden resurgence is even more impressive considering that just weeks ago, they were on the verge of elimination against a seemingly superior San Diego Padres team. But once their offense clicked, they began living up to their massive payroll, with every key hitter contributing and their pitchers consistently executing the game plan. Meanwhile, the Mets seemed to be running out of answers, appearing flat and out of sync as they struggle to keep up. On Friday, the Mets will opt for a bullpen game, which does not inspire much confidence given their struggles throughout this series. New York's relief pitchers have been overexposed in an attempt to outmaneuver the Dodgers lineup, but the strategy has backfired spectacularly. So far, the Mets bullpen has been hammered, and another rough outing seems likely. In contrast, the Dodgers have managed their pitching staff effectively, despite manager Dave Roberts' tendency to pull his starters earlier than necessary. While some may criticize Roberts for overmanaging, the Mets have not been able to exploit the extra workload on the Dodgers' bullpen. Los Angeles will send Jack Flaherty to the mound once again. Flaherty was brilliant in Game 1, pitching seven scoreless innings, and the Dodgers barely had to use their relievers in that contest. Even if Flaherty can deliver just five or six quality innings, that should be more than enough to seal the deal for the Dodgers and avoid a trip back to Los Angeles. For the Mets, Friday night is a must-win situation as they attempt to stave off elimination and avoid being swept at home in the National League Championship Series. Meanwhile, the Dodgers are looking to secure their fourth World Series appearance in the last eight years, having previously gone one to two in their most recent trips. Confidence is running high in the Dodgers' clubhouse as both their offense and pitching have been clicking on all cylinders. Jack Flaherty, who will start again on Friday, dominated the Mets in Game 1 by allowing no earned runs over seven innings, and he looks poised to replicate that success. Additionally, Los Angeles' bullpen has been outstanding throughout the postseason, further solidifying the team's chances of wrapping up the series in New York. Offensively, the Dodgers have been unstoppable in the National League Championship Series, averaging seven and a half runs per game. With such a potent lineup and a strong pitching rotation, Los Angeles looks like a team that is firing on all fronts. Conversely, the Mets seem exhausted and outmatched, making it difficult to imagine them forcing a return trip to Los Angeles for Game 6. All signs point to the Dodgers finishing the job Friday night, so the Los Angeles Dodgers' money line is our full game side pick. Historically, postseason elimination games tend to feature strong pitching performances, and this series could follow the same pattern. In the four combined closeout games these two teams have played during the playoffs, three of them have stayed under the projected total of seven and a half runs. The Dodgers defeated the Padres 3-2 in Game 5 of the National League Division Series, while also cruising to an 8-0 shutout in Game 4. On the Mets' side, they beat the Brewers 4-2 in the wild card round and later overcame the Phillies 4-1 in Game 4 of the the National League Division Series. This trend highlights how pitchers tend to rise to the occasion when the stakes are highest, making low-scoring affairs more likely. Los Angeles' bullpen has been particularly impressive throughout the postseason, posting a stellar 2.45 earned run average and a 1.18 WHIP while holding opposing hitters to a mere .212 batting average. With their relievers in top form, it's hard to imagine the Mets breaking through in a meaningful way. Given these trends and the high-pressure nature of the game, betting on the under for the total run seems like the right move. This matchup has all the makings of a low-scoring affair, where strong pitching will once again dictate the outcome. Under the projected total is our full game total pick.
New York Yankees versus Cleveland Guardians. The Guardians and the Yankees clashed in a thrilling showdown on Thursday night as part of the American League Championship Series. Cleveland staged a dramatic comeback by launching crucial home runs in both the ninth and tenth innings to secure a hard-fought 7-5 victory. With this win, the Guardians managed to keep their hopes alive, though New York still holds a 2-1 lead in the series. Cleveland's fans, who were electrified in the previous home game, are expected to bring the same energy in Game 4, hoping to rally their team to even the series. Before Thursday's late game heroics, I was all but ready to write off the Cleveland Guardians 2024 season. However, their remarkable resilience in Game 3 reminded me just how competitive they can be. Now down 2-1, the Guardians aim to build on that momentum in Game 4 and bring the series back to an even score. A significant confidence boost came from their success against the Yankees' bullpen, which could be crucial for their mindset moving forward. However, Cleveland needs to address the struggles of closer Emmanuel Clays, who surrendered his second postseason home run and nearly cost them the game. Rebuilding his confidence will be essential if the Guardians hope to go deeper in the playoffs. They'll also benefit from a second look at New York's pitcher, Lewis Gill, who hasn't started in over two weeks and may struggle with consistency. On the flip side, the Guardians will rely on Ben Lively, one of their most dependable starters this year. Despite being initially excluded from the playoff roster until Alex Cobb's injury opened a spot, look for Josh Naylor to have a breakout performance, while Cleveland's elite bullpen will likely be leaned on heavily to control the game in the later innings. The Guardians will try to ride the high from Thursday's emotional win into Game 4 on Friday. On paper, the pitching matchup is fairly balanced, with neither team having a significant advantage. Both starting pitchers ended the regular season with earned run averages over 4. Cleveland's offense showed impressive signs of life late in Game 3 which bodes well for their chances of generating plenty of offense on Friday. This game provides the Guardians with a great opportunity to tie the series, but the Yankees will need to step up across the lineup to respond, something they've struggled to do consistently throughout the series. Despite Cleveland's recent surge, the Yankees have largely been the superior team so far, and many would consider them the safer bet to advance. A key storyline in Game 4 will be how two inexperienced pitchers, Gill and Cleveland's Gavin Williams, perform in their first career postseason season starts. Williams may have the edge given the comfort of pitching at home, while Gill's season-long control issues could pose a significant problem if things start to spiral. Additionally, Cleveland's Game 3 win, especially the way it unfolded with clutch hitting and extra innings, could have a lingering effect. In baseball, momentum is a powerful force, and it feels like the Yankees missed their chance to fully extinguish Cleveland's hopes when they had the upper hand. For this reason, the Cleveland Guardians' money line is our full game side pick. Both teams will enter Friday's matchup having pushed their bullpens to the limit in Game 3, so it's likely that managers will once again keep their starters on a short leash. Expect to see a lot of high-pressure innings from both bullpens, with each side already familiar with the opposing team's best relievers. This familiarity could lead to more offense, especially since both starting pitchers struggled throughout the regular season and are now facing the added pressure of their first postseason appearances. Scoring has been a consistent trend in Cleveland's postseason run, six of their eight playoffs games have seen seven or more total runs. Similarly, the Yankees have hit the seven-run mark or higher in four of their seven playoff games. Given these patterns and the pitching uncertainties, fans should brace for another high-scoring affair on Friday night. With both offenses finding ways to put runs on the board, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.